waves. We're going to begin by talking about mass and elasticity. So what is a sound? If a tree falls in a forest and there's no one there to hear it, is there a sound? Physiologically, you could say no. But physically, yes, there is a sound. So there's no one there to hear it. There's no sensation of hearing. There's no pitch. There's no loudness, according to a person. But physically, a sound does exist. There is um, events that happen in the transmitting medium that create this sound. So in this class, what we're going to talk about is the physical, not the physiological perspective of sound. And what is a sound? In order to be a sound source, an object must have two properties. It must have mass, which is a little m, and elasticity, big E. So what can be a sound source? Basically, anything that can be sent into vibratory motion or oscillation, that's another word for vibratory motion, can be a sound source. Anything that has mass and elasticity can be a source of sound. And to some degree, everything has mass and elasticity. So our vocal folds have mass and elasticity, and they're a source of sound. The strings on a piano, tapping your shoe, knocking on a door, everything has mass and elasticity. Therefore, everything can be a source of sound. What can be a medium to transmit sound? So what environments can transmit sound? Well, again, anything that can be set into vibratory motion or anything that oscillates can be a transmitting media. So anything that has mass and elasticity can be a sound source. And anything that has mass and elasticity can be a medium to transmit sound. So air is probably our most common medium, but water, wires, steel rails, all of these structures have mass and elasticity, and they can all be mediums to transmit sound, though some are more effective than others. So what are the two physical properties that are essential for sound source creation and sound transmission? Mass and elasticity. And remember, everything has some degree of mass and some degree of elasticity. So going back to air, the medium that we are most used to transmitting sound, there are 400 billion molecules per cubic inch, and they're all moving at random motion 900 miles an hour, maintaining some sort of average distance between them. But we have billions of billions of molecules exerting a pressure on whatever they come in contact with. So that's what it, you hear when atmospheric pressure, it's all these billions of molecules pushing down on us, down on Earth, down at sea level. And if you can believe it, it's 14.7 pounds per square inch of this push down on us, this pressure. So going back to mass, it's the amount of matter present and it can be an air, a liquid, or a solid. When we're talking about mass versus weight, mass refers to the quantity of matter present and weight refers to the gravitational force exerted on a mass by the Earth. So a person could weigh 160 pounds at sea level at atmospheric pressure but only 27 pounds on the moon. So weight is a force. Mass, the quantity of matter present. Weight, the gravitational force exerted on a mass. Air has both mass and weight.